Now from Place Ministries, another inspirational moment. Welcome back to your place. Ecclesiastes 1-2 says, meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher, utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. The life of Solomon is fascinating. At the age of about 19 or 20, he's appointed king of Israel to replace his father David, the best king Israel has ever known. As he steps in to fill these big shoes, God appears to him and grants his simple request of wisdom by giving him more than any man has ever had or will have. And because he didn't ask for it, God gave him riches and blessings beyond measure. And all that God asked in return was obedience. And what started out great ended in tragedy for him and the nation of Israel. So he pins these words out of regret to warn people like us that life as this world advertises is meaningless. So let me ask you a question. What are you really living for? Solomon started right and ended wrong. And here's an important point to consider. It didn't happen instantly, but gradually over time. Little by little, Solomon began to love the applause of people and the lure of the things of the world. So as you live out your place in life and ministry today, realize that if it can happen to Solomon, it can happen to us. And Solomon, still the wisest man, has something very wise for us to hear. Don't fall for it. Stay faithful to God. Steward the resources and position that God's given you and never exchange the value of the created for the Creator. Because in the end, anything else is meaningless. Your Place is a weekday devotional from Place Ministries. Our focus is helping followers of Christ know how and why God created them and be encouraged to do what God created them to do in life and ministry. For a list of free resources, go to placeministries.org. And join us every weekday right here at Your Place.